Instead of having sharp cuts between the clips, it would look better if you had transitions. So in this iMovie tutorial, let's look at how you use transitions. Now the clips at the bottom here have no transitions, so there's just sharp cuts as I sc scrub between each clip. And sometimes you might want to have a sharp cut to indicate some part of the action that you're trying to tell a story. But if you want some subtle changes, then you need to put some transitions in. And in the content library, there are transitions supplied for you in iMovie. Quite a variety, and you've got a, a scroll bar there to see the rest of them. If you want to see what they look like, if you click one and then just scrub over it, you can see that transition. For the cross blur, just scrub through so you can see what it looks like. Some of them are quite obvious, but some of them are not. So it's a cross zoom. Now, if you want to see that repeatedly, click a transition, then the space bar. It repeatedly goes through that transition. So if I want to see what puzzle left is, I click it and it will just keep going through the same transition. And same for page curl. So it just shows you that to get an idea about whether you like that one or not. To stop that, just tap the space bar. So if you just want to see it once, just hold your mouse over it and you can scrub and you can see that the differences. So there are a number of them and some of the transitions are used for uh, the beginning and the end of a movie. So for example, uh, fade to black might be a good one to put at the start. To put a transition into your timeline, just click it and then drag it. So I'm going to drag that one to the beginning of the timeline. And the transitions by default are one second. And you can see as you scrub over it, it starts, it fades to black and then it starts that first clip. If you want it to be a more lengthy transition, you can increase the duration of the transition. So it's one se a second. The 3.1 seconds is that clip. And every time you put a transition in, it takes some of the time off the clip. So if I delete that transition, it's a 4.1 second clip. When I put that transition back in, the clip is now 3.1 because it's taken a second of the transition off the actual movie. Now, if you've got a clip that has some talking in it, some critical bit of speech or some music, then that's going to be uh, gone because the transition will um, fade over it. So if you want to make sure that that bit of speech or music is included in your movie, then you have to increase the length of the clip. And you can do it sometimes by just doing that, by just dragging it. So if it was just delete it again, 3.8. I want to add a second to it, make it 4.8. So that the effect of the transition, if I can't get it, it's really awkward just to get it on 4.8. So if I click and then go up here to the inspector, and I want that to be 4.8. So this clip is 4.0 seconds of 23.8 minutes. So I've just cut a little bit out of that 23-minute movie, So and then press return, and it's now 4.8. So when I put the transition back in, fade black, it's going to be the 3.8. I still have the transition. So if I made this... Uh, a two-second transition, then I would have to, again, uh, compensate for that on the actual clip. To change the length of the transition, double-click it, and then you can put in here how long you want it. So if I want that to be two seconds, I can put that there and then apply, and that's now two seconds. It's also taken it off the clip, but it's a longer fade-in. So in the inspector, when you click a clip and go up to the inspector, the eye, uh, you can see how long your clip is and if there's actually any room left to increase the size to compensate. Now if I put in a few, so let's put in uh, some cross dissolves between each section and we won't worry about the, the loss of time in the clip, we just put them between them. So they're all a second and that's been taken off to compensate. And if you have a, 
a transition one uh, either side of a clip. In this case, one second. It'll take half a second off this one and half a second off this one instead of the whole one second here. Uh, in this case, it took the whole second off because there was no transition after it. Uh, and this one's cross dissolve. And if it's um, not transitioning quickly enough, then you know, go and change it. So double click it. I'm going to make that two seconds. And then if I said apply to all, then it would attempt to make each of my transitions that are sitting in the timeline two seconds, which might be useful in some ways. But in this case, I don't want all of them to be uh, two seconds. I might want this one to be 2.5. Um, some of these transitions are useful for end of section. So, for example, we've got um, the surfer uh, steering out to sea, waxing his board here, or getting his wetsuit on, uh, waxing the board, so, and then preparing to go into the water. Well, there's those four clips. At the end of that, could be the end of a section. So this mosaic might be a, a good one to put there because it sort of indicates the end of a section and the start of a new part of the movie. To replace the transition, you simply uh, drag a new one over the top of it. So if I wanted to have uh, the cross dissolves replaced by a cross zoom, just drag that over the top of the existing one and it's now become a cross zoom. And to delete one, click it, press the delete key. Now, no transition can consume more than the entire clip. So if you've got a transition and you want it to be three seconds uh, either side of a clip, then your clip has to be able to accommodate those three seconds. So always leave some um, handles or some space at the end to extend the clip. So if I was going to put two seconds, transition either side of that then I might want to make that nine seconds and if I can't do it there then into the inspector and do it here make that nine seconds of ten seconds and even then it's not leaving me for some reason oh it's already taken some time off because I've got a transition there so I take that off now I've got my nine seconds and I can put the transition either side one second there one second there it's back to eight, so it's taken that um, half a second off the left, half a second off the right. So be wary of that. Now, there are other transitions that you could get if you were to uh, YouTube, go into YouTube and Google green screen transitions for iMovie. You'll also find some that you can download and put in onto your project. Uh, for this tutorial, however, I'm just going to show you how you use the inbuilt selection of transitions. So that's all for this tutorial.